The Cold War may be over, but the battle for air supremacy is far from finished. Russia's formidable Su-57 Felon, a stealth fighter jet designed to challenge America's F-22 Raptor. But what does it take to build a high-tech marvel like the Su-57, and can it truly rival the best aircraft from the West? The Sukhoi Su-57 is Russia's first fifth-generation stealth fighter, built to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Western giants like the F-35 Lightning II. This aircraft was developed as a versatile next-gen powerhouse, capable of both air superiority and ground attack missions, effectively replacing the aging MiG-29 and Su-27 in the Russian fleet, and early 1980s to create fighter jets for the 1990s. This effort, known as the I-90 program, aimed to propel Soviet aviation into a new era of technological advancement. It led to the MFI, Multifunctional Frontline Fighter, and the LFI, the Light Fighter Projects, with Mikoyan and Sukhoi developing their respective prototypes. However, the collapse of the Soviet Union brought several financial difficulties, stalling these promising projects. In 1999, Russia determined to regain its footing, launched the PAC-FA, Prospective Airborne Complex of Frontline Aviation a program to develop a single cost-effective fighter. The MFI prototype, the MiG-1.44, didn't take to the skies until 2000, and both the MFI and the LFI were eventually cancelled due to insurmountable costs. By 2002, the Russian Ministry of Defense handed the reins of the program to Sukhoi, leading to the creation of the T-50 prototype. The aircraft's conceptual design was completed by December 2004, with significant government funding pouring in by 2006 to expedite the process. In 2007, Russian Air Force Commander-in-Chief Alexander Zelen announced the development stage was complete, and construction of the first flyable T-50 prototypes would commence. The design was officially approved in 2009, and by July 2017, the T-50 was christened the Su-57. In 2018, some prototypes were deployed to Syria for combat testing, offering Russian engineers invaluable data to fine-tune the aircraft. Despite facing numerous challenges, including issues with stealth coatings and avionics reliability, these prototypes were crucial in paving the way for the Su-57's production. By 2019, the Russian Air Force was ready to receive its first batch of Su-57 fighters. A significant setback occurred when one aircraft crashed during a test flight in December 2019. Nonetheless, deliveries continued, and by 2020, the first operational Su-57 was deployed to an aviation regiment in the Southern Military District. Throughout 2020 and 2021, additional units were delivered, and by 2022, the Su-57 was active in special military operations. The production schedule anticipates that the Russian Air Force will receive 22 Su-57s by the end of 2024. So, what makes the Su-57 so special? This jet marks a significant leap in Russian aerospace engineering, combining cutting-edge tech to achieve high-performance, stealth, and versatility. Its blended wing body configuration is a standout feature, with over 25% of the airframe constructed from composite materials. The Su-57 can carry a diverse array of weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, guided bombs, and a 30mm cannon for close-range combat. Its external hardpoints provide flexibility in mission configurations, while two side bays and two internal weapon bays reduce drag by storing missiles internally. Initially powered by AL-41 F1 engines, the Su-57 received a more powerful engine that promised improved thrust, fuel efficiency, and supercruise capability, enabling sustained supersonic flight without afterburners. The Su-57 is no ordinary fighter jet, it's a marvel of modern engineering, with three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles that make it a nimble beast in the air. This feature lets it pull off jaw-dropping maneuvers, giving it the upper hand in dogfights, and the ability to dodge enemy missiles like a pro. Imagine a jet that can twist, turn, and loop with the grace of an eagle, but with the ferocity of a hawk. Equipped with an active electronically scanned array or AESA radar, the Su-57 boasts a top-tier detection range, 
Excellent target tracking and strong resistance to jamming, this radar isn't just about spotting the enemy. It's about keeping tabs on multiple foes at once, providing the pilot with a full spectrum of situational awareness. Plus, the integrated infrared search and track, or IRST, system lets it detect enemy aircraft using their infrared emissions, adding a stealthy edge by keeping electronic emissions to a minimum. The avionics suite in this aircraft is a cohesive network of navigation, targeting, and electronic warfare systems. Think digital fly-by-wire electronic countermeasures and a comprehensive heads-up display, or HUD, that keeps critical flight and combat information right where the pilot needs it. The sophisticated tech makes sure the pilot can focus on the missions without getting bogged down by information overload. And to top it off, the canopy is coated with radar-absorbent material, shrinking its radar footprint and making it harder to detect. The strategic importance of Russia's Su-57 is monumental. Its development underscores Russia's commitment to maintaining formidable military capabilities and securing its position as a major player in the global arms market. By flaunting its advanced technology, Russia aims to woo international buyers and tighten bonds with allied nations. The export variant Su-57E is specifically tailored to catch the eye of countries in the Asia-Pacific, Africa, and Europe. Back in 2007, Russia and India linked a deal for a joint venture between Sukhoi and HAL to develop the fifth generation fighter aircraft, or FGFA. Initially, both nations pledged $6 billion each with a design contract signed in 2010. However, by 2014, the Indian Air Force started raising red flags over performance, cost, and workshare issues, eventually backing out of the partnership in 2018. Designed for versatility, the Su-57 excels in a variety of combat roles, from air superiority and ground attacks to naval strikes. It's armed with formidable weapons like the KH-59 Mk-2 and the new X-69 cruise missile. Whether it's dominating the skies, pounding ground targets, or striking from the sea, the Su-57 is built to deliver. The upcoming years will be a make-or-break period for the Su-57, with a planned fleet of 76 aircraft by 2028. The Russian Air Force is betting big on this advanced fighter jet. Yet, despite its cutting-edge features, the Su-57 has struggled to woo international buyers, facing stiff competition from Western aircraft like the F-35 and China's J-20, along with development delays and performance questions. Potential customers like India, China, and Turkey have shown interest but remain cautious due to geopolitical and strategic concerns. As the Su-57 continues to evolve, its role in future conflicts and its potential impact on global security dynamics remain subjects of keen interest and speculation. That's the tale of Russia's Su-57, a fighter jet packed with advanced technology and a sleek design that makes it a heavyweight contender in the skies. What do you think the future holds for the Su-57 in global conflicts or even World War III? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating content.